Dear friends, this is Vinay Joseph. Welcome to Math Magic. Today we will continue solving problems from trigonometry. The first problem for today is to prove that tan square theta minus sin square theta is equal to tan square theta into sin square theta. This is what we are supposed to prove. If you see the problem, it is a trigonometric equation. You have two sides. And on both sides, you have the same terms. But on the left hand side, the two terms are separated by a negative sign. And on the right hand side, you have a multiplicative sign between the two terms. I will start from the left hand side. Left hand side is tan square theta minus sin square theta. So, in the process of solving it, only this negative sign has to be replaced. The terms should be retained as it is and a multiplicative sign should come in between. And how do we do that? We know that tangent of theta is given by sine of theta divided by cos of theta. So, tan square theta will be sine square theta by cos square theta. So, instead of tan square theta, I will write it as sine square theta divided by cos square theta minus sin square theta. In the denominator here you will have 1. Now you have two fractions with a negative sign in between. We will have to check the denominators and we will have to take the LCM. The LCM will be cos square theta. The common denominator is cos square theta. cos square theta divided by the first denominator. cos square theta by cos square theta is 1. 1 into sin square theta is sin square theta. Minus cos square theta divided by the second denominator 1 is cos square theta. cos square theta if you multiply by the second numerator you will get sin square theta into cos square theta. That is equal to. What should we do next? In the numerator, I can remove sin square theta as a common factor. So, if I remove sin square theta as a common factor, I will have 1 minus cos square theta left divided by cos square theta. I hope you have followed all the steps. Now, by the first identity, trigonometric identity, sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. This is identity number 1. So, if I transfer cos square theta and find out what will I get for sin square theta, sin square theta will be equal to 1 minus cos square theta. So, Instead of 1 minus cos square theta, I can substitute it as sin square theta. So, I will have sin square theta into, instead of 1 minus cos square theta, I can write it as sin square theta divided by cos square theta. 
that is equal to sin square theta is kept as it is into sin square theta by cos square theta sin by cos is tangent of theta so sin square theta by cos square theta is tan square theta that is equal to just rearrange the terms you will have tan square theta into sin square theta and that is what was required that is the right hand side therefore what is my final conclusion therefore tan square theta minus sin square theta is equal to tan square theta into sin square theta this is what is my final verdict and i have proved hence proved so this is how you prove tan square theta minus sin square theta is equal to tan square theta into sin square theta okay the next problem prove that sin theta by 1 plus cos theta plus 1 plus cos theta by sin theta is equal to 2 cosecant theta this is what i am supposed to prove let us start from what we have on the left hand side sin theta divided by 1 plus cos theta plus 1 plus cos theta divided by sin theta okay i have two fractions here and i need to find the sum of the two fractions the denominators are the ones which play a important role see the denominators the denominators are different so what will we do is we take the common denominator which is also called as the lcm so i have 1 plus cos theta into sin theta as the common denominator the common denominator divided by the first denominator 1 plus cos theta and 1 plus cos theta cancels sin theta is left sin theta into the first numerator sin theta into sin theta is sin square theta plus the common denominator divided by the second denominator that is sin theta sin theta and sin theta mutually cancels i am left with 1 plus cos theta 1 plus cos theta into 1 plus cos theta is 1 plus cos theta whole square that is equal to sin square theta is kept as it is plus the second bracket is in the form a plus b whole square that is a square plus b square plus 2 a b this is what is the expansion of a plus b whole square instead of a i have 1 instead of b i have cos theta instead of a 1 instead of b i have cos theta divided by 1 plus cos theta into sin theta this is what i have now we need to continue our simplification remember you will have to be slow when you comprehend the problems or topics which are new to you go slow till you understand it so the first term sin square theta is kept as it is 1 square is 1 cos theta whole square is cos square theta plus 2 into 1 is 2 2 into cos theta is 2 cos theta whole divided by what is that i'll get whole divided by i'll have 1 plus cos theta into sin theta that is equal to 
now what will I do in the numerator is I'll rearrange the terms. I'll write sine square theta and cos square theta together. I'll get sine square theta plus cos square theta. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is nothing but the first identity. The value of sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1 plus this 1 plus 2 cos theta whole divided by 1 plus cos theta into sin theta. That is equal to 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 2 cos theta whole divided by 1 plus cos theta into sin theta. This is what I get. Now what should I do? From the numerator you can remove 2 as a common factor. If you remove 2 as a common factor, 1 plus cos theta is left whole divided by the denominator is 1 plus cos theta into sin theta. Now 1 plus cos theta in the numerator mutually cancels with 1 plus cos theta in the denominator. You will have 2 into 1 by sin theta sin is the reciprocal of cosecant. So, 1 by sin theta is nothing but cosecant theta. So, 1 by sin theta is replaced as cosecant theta and that is the right hand side. Therefore, what is my final conclusion? Therefore, sin of theta divided by 1 plus cos of theta plus 1 plus cos of theta divided by sin of theta is equal to is equal to 2 times cosecant theta proved it is proved then finish the final step it is better you put the final result in a box and whenever you are making any substitutions it is also good if you write the substitution that is made as a reason next to the step. So what is the substitution made here? Cosecant theta is equal to 1 divided by sin theta. This is the substitution made. This will be the reason adjacent to that step. And what is the reason that we have given here? The reason that we have given here for that change is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. That is the first identity. That is the reason that we have given. And instead of sin square theta plus cos square theta, I have made a substitution as 1. This is how slowly you learn to solve the trigonometry problems. Don't rush. That is not needed, absolutely not needed. When you are learning any subject, any topic for the first time, try to understand the basics. Go slow. And once you are sure of the content, the methodology, then you can increase your speed and in between some steps also can be skipped. But until you get absolute confidence on the subject, go slow. Dear friends, please subscribe to my channel, share and comment and let me know if you need assistance in any of the areas. Let us share, learn and evolve. Take care. Be safe. God bless.